Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another YouTube Artist Collective piece and uh, if you guys don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is, which I'm sure by now all of you do, basically it is a group of artists here on YouTube who do a painting slash drawing of a theme every single month that the uh, Facebook page votes on and decides on and the whole community gets involved and it's really, really fun. Uh, more information will be in my description box and you guys can check it out for yourselves and yeah um, This theme for this go around was masquerade ball and I had a lot of big ideas for this one um, I was actually surprised because uh, when the Theme was brought up and we were we were voting. This is actually not the one that I wanted to win but as soon as it did win for some reason I just got this huge idea of a new and I knew exactly what I wanted to do and that never happens for me I usually decide and waffle back and forth for days before I decide on a final concept but for this one I had a very clear idea of wanted of what I wanted to do um, and that kind of leads me into the topic of discussion I wanted to talk about today um, because this final piece is not what I had in mind. Um, don't get me wrong, I am happy with this final piece, um, but mostly I'm just happy with the fact that I did something. So, originally for this piece, I had this really cool idea of these two characters interacting with one another, and the female character was going to be wearing a bunny masquerade mask, and the male character was going to be wearing a fox masquerade mask, and he was going to be inviting her to dance, and they would have these beautiful costumes, they were going to be in this beautiful ballroom setting, and I was so excited to gather different resources for like the ballroom, and try designing their outfits. Fits. Um, and that ended up not happening because I got sick again, which is no surprise to you if you've watched uh, my channel for very long. Um, I just made a video not too long ago about how great I was feeling and how happy I was that I was not sick anymore. And lo and behold, a few weeks later, here I am. <laughs> not feeling great again and that is just how it goes with chronic illness um i am always sick like that is the definition of being chronically ill i am always sick but sometimes my symptoms are not as extreme as other times and sometimes i have really bad flare-ups where i'm just down and out for the count for a while um and it just seems like for the past year or so, I have been feeling bad more than I feel good. And that's really hard for me to accept because, well, no one wants to feel bad, of course. And there are so many things that I want to be doing that I, I feel like I can't be doing. And that also leads into the topic I want to talk about. Basically, what I want to talk about is how difficult it is when you're chronically ill to balance things in your life. I feel like I am constantly battling myself um, because there are, well, uh, mostly every day I wake up and I do my morning routine and by the time I'm done with my morning routine all I want to do is go back to bed because I am so exhausted I am just tired I don't feel good my body hurts my lungs hurt I'm coughing but I know that if I were to just lay down take a nap go back to sleep I wouldn't do anything for that day and that day would basically be shot for me and there are so many things that I want to be doing that I would rather be doing than lying on the couch and resting and the thing is sometimes I need to let myself do that I need to let myself rest otherwise my symptoms will continue to get worse and worse and worse and it'll be even harder for me to feel better so I feel like I'm constantly in a state of do I lay down and relax? Do I do the things I want to do? Because also, if I lay down and relax too much, I won't get anything done. And it's just something that I've struggled with for forever, basically. Even in high school, I had this problem. And it just seems to be getting harder. 
harder to balance things uh, the more I go on because I feel like I'm getting flare-ups more and more often and it's kind of harder for me to do anything besides lay on the couch and take a nap and try to feel less miserable. And I don't mean for this video to come across like I'm complaining or that I want sympathy or even that I'm upset, really. Um, this is just what I'm dealing with and I know quite a few of you are also dealing with the same kind of things if you're also chronically ill and I feel like it's really good to talk about it and get it off my chest um, otherwise it just kind of festers in my brain and just like stays there <laughs> so it really helps to get this out in the open and talk about it um, but yeah so that is what I am struggling with and that is roundabout how this piece came to be. Uh, like I mentioned, I wanted to make this beautiful, huge piece with all this intricate details, but I had to be real with myself and say, okay, if you try to do that, you won't finish in time for the YouTube Artist Collective piece to go out. You may not even have the energy to finish it at all. So why don't you take a step back, think of your original idea and simplify it to something that you can realistically do, which is what I did. Um, I made this piece. This is the girl bunny character that was going to be in my original piece. And I just drew a simple portrait because uh, portraits are something that I can do. I enjoy doing portraits and I still had fun designing her bunny mask. And um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I just simplified it to something that I was able to do, <coughs> something I was able to get out and something that um, ultimately I was still happy with. And another thing, I also did this uh, digitally on my iPad, so I was also able to still kind of lay down and relax. I wasn't up at my desk, which um, helped a lot because even sitting up straight at a desk can be really hard when you are chronically ill. Um, so it was much easier to just stay in bed and draw this. I also took a lot of shortcuts that I wouldn't normally take in a piece like this. For example, I copied both the eyes and the hair and the border around her uh, to keep it symmetrical. And usually I would draw both sides myself because I kind of like when things are a bit asymmetrical, when things aren't perfect. But uh, it save time and it saved energy and already already as it is I can usually bust out a portrait like this in like maybe two hours and it took me all week to make this because I had to do it in short bursts because I would get really really tired while drawing this and I have to take a break and I'd have to go back to it but ultimately I am proud of myself for doing something I am proud of myself for making a video this week because I haven't been making videos and I want to make videos again and I am proud of doing this in time for the YouTube Artist Collective and having something instead of nothing so this piece isn't what I originally wanted um, it's not even that I think it's good but it's not up to my usual standards I didn't color it completely um, it's really line art heavy which I usually don't like but I am happy that I did something. And when you're chronically ill, you gotta you gotta take the win when you can, you know? This is a win for me. I I did something. I did the thing. It was really hard for me to do, but I did the thing. And so I count that as a win. Um, you gotta you gotta enjoy the little battles that you win every day. Um, anyway, this video is pretty much over at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wish I could leave this video off on more of a positive note, but I am still feeling really sick. I'm feeling really bad, guys. I may have to go to the hospital soon, and I am not in the best mental place right now. Um, and I, I really don't want to come across like I'm complaining. I'm just being real with you guys. This is the reality of my illness, and it's what I deal with, and I like to share that with you. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, kind of struggle bussing right now if I'm being honest um but I appreciate you guys being here and appreciate you guys watching my videos go watch everyone else's YouTube masquerade ball videos too <coughs> they are amazing this is one of the really fun uh themes because there's just so much detail and so 
so many, so many different things in so many different ways these people, these amazing artists take it. Um, if you participated, please let me know so I can watch your videos too. And that's, that's it. That's my piece for, for this week. I hope you guys like it. Um, so yeah, just keep me in your thoughts too, because I may have to go to the hospital soon, but I will update you guys on that if I do. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Uh, I hope you are in good health and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.